Hey guys, we're going to see more Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World, and uh, we have to try and catch somebody who's starting fire. So, I don't want to really catch. Well, I guess catch, because they captured him, but they said he broke out, but blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, we're going to go to the uh, to the jail and see if we can see if he's there, because apparently they're guarding it so well. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could tell us anything about the escaped arsonist. Huh? The arsonist escaped? Don't be ridiculous. He's still there. See for yourself. Well, that's not what the other guy said, so... I don't believe uh, you. Yes. What's going on here? If the arsonist is still here, then the latest fire must have been started by someone else. Do you mind if we have a word with the criminal? Sure, but be careful. Why? Is he big? Scary? Is he going to eat us? How did you see... What? Are you the arsonist? He may have fancy clothes and nice manners, but the fellow is dangerous. Be careful around him. you I'm embarrassed for you to see me like this is this a friend of yours yes this is Regal Bryant he was with us in the journey of world regeneration he's also the president of the Lazareno company Lazareno but they're huge why would their president be starting fires so Regal tell us what happened to be honest, I don't really know myself. I was in town on business when I happened to meet a man named Berg, a gel maker who said he'd seen Lloyd. While we were speaking, I suddenly found myself engulfed by this strange light, and just like that, I blacked out. When I came to, the building was in flames and Berg was lying unconscious. I grabbed him and ran outside where you were arrested and blamed for all the fires. Exactly. But I had nothing to do with any of it. Of course, we would never think you would. So you wouldn't know anything about the most recent fire? What? There was another fire? We're looking for the person that started it. Arson is one of the most cowardly crimes. If I could leave this prison, I would gladly join you in your search. The man you met, Berg, he didn't vouch for you? Unfortunately, he's still out cold. He may have inhaled a lot of smoke during the fire. Hey, Marta, do you think you might be able to use healing arts to help Berg? Hmm, I'm not sure, but it's worth a shot. Then let's go. If we can get him to wake up, maybe we can clear Regal's name. Good idea. Let's do that. Okay. We're very trusting. <laughs> the other two know him, but we don't. I heard Berg was taken to his house. Please, do anything you can. All right. So, we know that uh, Genus and Rain know this guy. Um, I, of course, anybody who's played the first game will probably know him also. <laughs> hey, Genus, could you tell me a little about Regal? Well, we got to know him when he traveled with us on the journey of world regeneration two years ago. He's the type of guy you can always depend on. And as president of the world-famous Lazareno Company, he's well-respected wherever he goes. But he was a prisoner the first time we met him, too. What? It almost seemed like he started to enjoy being locked up. I wish you were joking, but I think you might be onto something there. He's mentally exhausted. We have to do something, and quickly. Okay. Uh, if they were taken to his house, maybe this is his house. Or maybe it's a house up there. Are you Berg? Nope. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, ready or not, here I come. Shh, I'm playing hide and seek with my dad. 
Very good hiding spots, you know, behind the only obstruction view to, until you turn a corner. But, alright, let's go and see if we can find Mr. Berg. Since there seems to be no other houses over here, we'll just head off this way. Uh, no, this one. My contract burned up in the fire. When I get my hands on the person who did this, he'll pay. Okay, maybe not you. This one. There! Rain, what do you think? From the looks of it, he might have been poisoned by a light frog. A light frog? Ah, uh, yes, that's what you humans call it. What strange names you have for things. Yes, this man has been infected by the poison of the Nasdrovier, the monster your people call the Light Frog. Nasdrovier? Light? Nasdrovier is the proper term. Light Frog is the term you humans call it. The Nasdrovier absorbs high amounts of energy and releases it in a burst of light and heat. It's enough to knock out any creature that touches it. Light and heat? Then that must be what's causing all the fires around here. Of course! It must be the Light Frog. It's called the Nasdrovier. If I remember correctly, the Light Frog is a rare species that only lives near Flanor. Oh, well, we're, I was saying that wrong. Flanor. Flanor. <laughs> Nasdrovier. Azuld has a trade route with Flanor. The creatures could have arrived in cargo bound for here, then flourished due to the unusual weather conditions. So assuming this is the result of Light Frog poison, an antidote ought to cure him, right? Nasdrovier! Unfortunately, there's no antidote for the Light Frog's poison. It's more of a viral infection rather than a venom. I believe Rosemary is able to counter the Light Frog's poison. If it was that easy, everybody would know about it. Tenebrae, you're giving in? Just leave me alone. But where do we find some Rosemary? It used to grow wild in the Camberto Caves, but I heard it became extinct with the recent climate changes. Great. What do we do now? Well, we know what caused the fires. Let's explain the situation so we can leave by ship. But what about Berg? And we can't just leave Regal in jail like that. I don't like it either, but the most important thing right now is to find the Centurion's cores as soon as possible, correct? Rain, how could you say something like that? It's our only choice. We've done everything we can here. But I can't just ignore someone who's suffering right in front of me. Then what do you propose we do? Keep in mind that Lloyd could be taking the Centurion's cores as we speak. And what if he plans to use the cores to hurt others? Rain! I can't believe you! Wasn't Lloyd your student? Your friend? I'm merely pointing out a possibility. Be a man. I say we find a cure! And how exactly do you plan on doing that? Please, you don't even have the means. We just have to find it in those damn Camberto Caves. How can you be so sure that they're all gone? And what about the Centurion's cores? Shut up! We're the ones who need to find all the cores. What do you care? All right then, let's go to the Camberto Caves. Rain? I apologize. Please forget everything I said. Come on, let's go. Well... What's up with Rain? I like how we just keep getting sent to like... I things. think she was trying to provoke a meal on purpose. Why would she do that? I don't know. Alright, so we gotta go to Camberto Caves. Well, that kind of points us in the right direction now. Um... Shouldn't be too bad. Oh. <laughs> I must confess, you continue to fascinate me. 
If we could only tap into your memories, the mysteries of the ancient world would be at our disposal. It's incredible how dramatically rain changes from moment to moment. Is it? I barely notice anymore. What I thought was odd was when she was needling you with all those questions earlier. Really? The way she is now seems a lot weirder than that. I don't know. There was something very curious about her interest in you. No way! She was definitely weirder just now. Genus? Marta? May I ask what you find so odd, very curious, and definitely weird about me? Nothing, Nothing at all! <laughs> okay. Those scenes are interesting, but they're just kind of... Eh. Eh. Eh, look, another one. Old people. Did you visit the place we're heading to right now during your journey of regeneration? No. We did our fair share of traveling then, but there were plenty of places we didn't see. Really? Well, it's not like we were sightseeing, but I'm pretty sure we passed through all the major towns. Oh, I just figured you guys had pretty much been everywhere there is to go. I think Tenebrae's seen more of the world than we have. He's been alive a really long time. If you insist on treating me like a senile old buffoon, I have nothing to say to you. He's very sensitive about his age. Still, it can't be much longer before all his fur goes white. How rude. Especially coming from someone with a full head of white hair. It's silver. Old people are so grouchy. Ah, <laughs> uh, we share share ideas or beliefs about old people. Grouchiness. <laughs> All right. So, oh, another scene after a black screen. <laughs> There doesn't seem to be any here. Let's keep going. Um, Rain? Yes? You made Emil mad on purpose earlier. Why did you do that? Oh, I wasn't lying when I said I wanted to hurry our journey along. Rain! <laughs> Emil, you probably won't like this, but Lloyd once said something similar. Huh? How can we go on a quest to regenerate the world if we can't even save the people standing right in front of us? Lloyd said that? Come on, let's keep moving. Is it just me, or did she avoid the question entirely? Pretty much. Yeah. Old people. Why? <laughs> Alright, so we have to continue on and look around, and... Get another scene. This area has a lot of herbs. You're right. Herbs? I've never liked them much. Why's that? Well, they smell weird for one thing, and they're usually too spicy or bitter for me. They just don't taste good. I guess you're still a child in that regard. Uh, I am? As you get older, you learn to appreciate the more bitter flavors. Yes, darkness and bitterness are the two principal flavors of adulthood. Um, I don't think darkness is technically a flavor. In other words, since Tenebrae's the centurion of darkness, <laughs> that means he's old. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, stuck in a corner. And now we're waiting. Let's get this over with. Let's see what the fights are like. I don't understand why it's so deep. Am I like missing something? Am I supposed to like... Good. Everybody else is like genus over there? Holy That's just ridiculous. I take out one and genus over there takes out three. Sad. All right, let's continue on now. Let's see if we can find these herbs. Like this one. No, can't even pick it up. But I do see a treasure chest. Wee! Sneak past him. Hunting sword. Woo! <laughs> Don't want to go that way. Um. Go this way. Uh huh. -huh. Has been where we started. There's a button type thing way up there. It's 
It's like a maze. <laughs> I have to go over there now. Jeez, it is a maze. Kind, kind of. Scoozy. Don't mind me. Just running around. Going the wrong way from the right way. Come over here. And wee. <laughs> really? Oh my gosh, really? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? No, no, no. I'm stuck on a stupid little log. Cause there's no way to cross up here, correct? Correct. What? Okay, if I go up. Over, there's no connection here. Just stop. This is ridiculous. Okay, well, I'm gonna go this way again. I guess I have to just go up by this bridge. By a little scene. No. What the crap? Hello? What am I missing? Oh. Seriously? What? <laughs> A brilliant review of the Well, that boss was not hard at all. That's it? Okay, what did that do? Did that... Yay! <laughs> we created a bridge. Uh, what does this give me? Water! Is there anything I can do? No, I didn't connect anything. This way, it's cold. Maybe it's because of the water running through here. It's really chilly, but it's not frozen. The water must not be that cold. It seems that way. Too cold one minute and too hot the next. Human beings are very inconvenient. Tenebrae, you are insensitive in every sense of the word. You know that? How rude. I have senses too, I'll have you know. What sort of senses? For example, I can sense when it's dark, darker, or especially dark. You're the Centurion of Darkness? That's your job. <laughs> Sensitive. All right. Let's continue on a little bit. I was hoping... Oh. Yes, there's a large flower floating in the water. No, I spun it with water. <laughs> I'm just gonna get stuck here or something. Yeah, okay. Continue on a little bit then. Uh. And. Yeah, so I can. Uh, I directed one one way, now I need to. Uh. Oh, can't turn that one off, so. Send another one down. Come on. Come, come on, come, come on. Just go straight. I don't want to get stuck up there until I think it's put in place. There. And we've got a waterfall and a sneak away. <laughs> no, no. I call these plants are just freaking who? No, go, go, go away, go. What? I don't 
understand what's going on. Uh, trying to rush through this puzzle and it's not working. Steve by the beat. Oh. This episode's gonna be a little bit longer. Or a cut in half. You yeah. You're going down! Oh, Run, run, run. Run away. You don't run into an invisible frickin' wall. I don't even have any. I'm dead. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Seeing as how I can't freaking Oh my gosh, really? How did you get over here? Because <laughs> I'm probably still dead, right? Uh Arts you We don't have anything to bring me back to life. Awesome. Aw, frickin' some. Let's just go this way then. First version cannot be used on a floating island. Oh. Okay, now we're really into a frickin' puzzle. Awesome. Up here. Don't want to go over there. If I do this one here. Just gotta check something real quick. Down, down here. Should be able to get on that. No? Maybe? No? No? see any rosemary don't give up I'm sure we'll find some if we just go in a bit deeper you're right I'm sorry for losing faith I'm the one who said we should look for it so I can't give up until the end Emil what is it nothing it's just you've changed a little have I yes it's hard to put into words but I think it's a good thing That's so sweet. It's not like that at all. Right, Emil? <laughs> I wish she didn't deny it so strongly now. I guess it's my own fault. Beggars can't be choosers. Alright, Mystic Cloak. Can I bring this here? I don't know what good that would be to bring here, but can I? Yes, I can, and it does nothing. That's not what I wanted either. Oh well. There's two doors. Okay, Emil. Just be straight with me. How do you feel about Marta? How do I feel? Well, I guess... Don't say it. Huh? huh? Are intra-party relationships off limits? It's not that. Such questions must never be answered plainly. Any response should be vague so as to create intrigue and suspense. Is this not the essence of any good soap opera? Ugh. You know, spiteful may be the perfect word for Tenebrae. <laughs> Alright, I guess uh, let's go in the left door. 
<laughs> Save point. All right, guys. I'm going to end this part off here, and I will see you guys next time. So, till next time, guys. TLG, out.